Hey everyone, Josh here. Just doing a video on ALH nozzle swaps. So this set here, they have Farad .216s on them, I believe. I borrowed, let a friend borrow them, and it came back with a broken return nipple off of it. And then I needed the flared part for my uh, PD tester. Um, if you'd seen my earlier videos, I'm working on uh, nozzle swapping some PD injectors. So, uh, yeah, that's just a little project there. But I decided to switch to these uh, ALH ones because I'm going to need them before I need my PD injectors. So we're just doing a little video on swapping nozzles. Uh, actually, I'm just going to swap this nozzle to a good body. And then I'm going to set the first stage and the second stage pressures. So if you're familiar with the ALH injectors, you've got a pilot injection, which happens around 220 or around 220 or 260 bar, and then the main injection at 300 bar, roughly, 300, 320 or so. So with a normal pop tester like this, you can't check the main injection, you can just check the pilot injection, which is better than nothing at all. It's better than just throwing them onto a body but I want to be able to check the main injection pressure as well to make sure everything is injecting at the same time. Uh, helps uh, the pistons live longer, I guess. So yeah, so I'm gonna get another body here. We're gonna stake, strip this apart and I need some parts out of here to be able to check the second stage. So stay tuned. So I got it all apart. I'm hoping this video turned out a little bit better. I'm trying to GoPro uh, to video it. Uh, my PD injectors, I used my camcorder that I used for some of my time-lapse videos and it just wasn't really good at up-close stuff. So anyway, so it's apart. Um, this would be a good time to say I'm not a trained Bosch specialist or really a specialist of any kind. So you're doing this at your own risk. Um, yeah. So you want to make sure your bench is nice and clean, injectors are nice and clean, hands are nice and clean, and uh, yeah, start taking stuff apart. Now you don't want to take your pintle out of your nozzle body, at least on your new one. These are match set, so yeah, you don't want to be swapping stuff around. 
So basically what we're doing here is you got your pin tool. As pressure rises, it's gonna push against this rod, which has these top hats, I guess you'd call them on the outside. Uh, that rod would push through your main injection spring and it would push against here with this top hat and shim and stuff. So that's how you're going to set your, or that's what's gonna happen for your pre-injection, your pilot injection. Once pressure ramps up so, hot, or so far, your top hat can only go so far in there. And then it's gonna push against this piece, which pushes against your main injection spring. So from factory with the original top hat and stuff, you can check your pilot injection, which we'll go over here yet. And then the plan here to check the main pressure is we're gonna take this top hat off of my scrap injector. Uh, ALHs are pretty common now, so you can get injectors really cheap. So the plan is to basically take that outside edge off of this top hat. So that should lock out the rod from sliding up and it should just go against that main spring. At least that's the plan. So yeah, I'm gonna sand that edge off and then uh, see what happens. So we got two injectors here just for demonstration purposes. So here's one with that modified top hat. Here's just the regular one. I just have it on my uh, eBay special tester. I don't think this thing was more than $100. So it's got a gauge and everything, a little screw in so you can adjust the pressures. Um, yeah, it's actually kind of cool. So they come with a bunch of different straight fittings. So this one I just modified. I got a full of diesel. Uh, I guess you can use test fluid if you're fancy. So I got a fancy um, fluid containment device, I guess you can call it. So that's on there. So once you got all the air that kind of bled out, you can just use this dial here. So that's one of the most sturdiest uh, cameraman here. So I don't know, that'd be 31, 31.50. Hey, that's about 31. So now we've got the pre-injection or pilot injection uh, pressure is about 3100, I would say. That's what I'm gonna call this one. So now we're gonna do 
we're just going to check uh, for nozzle leakage. So according to these, this book, uh, leakage test um, until it's 285 PSI below the specified opening pressure. So we're going to say 28 just for uh, simplicity sake. And then it said uh, 10 seconds, it can't have a drop. So I guess before it's close to the injection pressure, clean off the bottom. So then you can just kind of sit and watch. So you've got the injector leakage ports there. Also watch the nozzle here. If my phone will focus. A little bit there. So I decided to swap that uh, modified top hat into that same injector. So now our pilot injector or pilot injection at 3100 psi, we can now see what that modified top hat will do in the same injector. So I spoke too soon about my tester. It's now leaking out of my uh, plug here. There's little o rings in there that I got to replace. So. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely uh, the cheap one. So, watch pressures. Right. Let's try this. So we're going to say about 4,000 PSI there. Um, so main injection. So I looked up here. So pilot injection should be 220 bar, which I think was around that 3,100 mark. So pilot injection was spot on. But the main injection should be 300 bar, which this one was, which that would be about 4,350 PSI. So we're just about 400. So we're about 350 PSI short. Um, so basically you can adjust the shims inside, bump that pressure up, but you could also check across all four injectors and, uh, see what they all look like, whether that modified top hat, you might've taken a little bit too off, too much material off instead of just taking the ring off. If you take, um, a little bit more off of the sandpaper, then that might've tweaked your pressures yet too. And these are also modified ones, so they might, uh, drop pressure a bit yet as well. So all in all, it's, uh, I'm kind of happy with it. Um, cheap and quick and easy way of checking uh, nozzles before they go on the car. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. I might do some videos on some cheaper, um, cheaper nozzles versus better nozzles and fuel mileage differences, stuff like that. I've got a ALH with a low compression uh, with 0.260 injectors and bigger turbo, all that good stuff that I'm going to be going back to stock. So I might be, might play around with some stock size or slightly over stuff. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.